Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now and you are too. We're gonna have fun, yes we're gonna have fun, yes we're gonna have fun. There's lots to do. Mother Goose is here now, here now, here now. Mother Goose is here now. And Lucy too. Say hi Lucy. Hey Lucy, I'm so glad you could join us for circle time today. You are just in time. We're going to find out what month is it? What day are we on? What's our number of the day? What's our letter of the day? And you are going to love all the monkeying around when we get to that part. Hey, who is it that usually helps us with our month of the year? Do you know Lucy? That's right. On the count of three, help us call Months Monkey and we'll find out what month we're in. One, two, three. Months Monkey! Oh, here comes Months Monkey now. <laughs> hey, Months Monkey. Thanks for joining us for Circle Time. Would you help us find out what month we're in? All right, yay, Monkey said yes, and we're gonna get started. Do you remember how many months of the year are there? Do you remember? Hmm, you wanna take a guess? 12, look at all of these months. There are 12 months in every year, and Months Monkey is going to make that monkey sound just on the month we're in right now. So sing the song with us, and when you hear that monkey sound, try and remember what month it is. That's the one we're in right now. January, February, <laughs> March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December. 12 months in a year. And Months Monkey made that monkey sound right on February. We're in the month of February. February, let's find out what day of the week it is. We need our friend Day's Dinosaur. On the count of three, yell, Day's Dinosaur, we need you. Are you ready? One, Two, three, day's dinosaur, we need you. Roar. There's, Roar. there's day's dinosaur. Hey, day's dinosaur, will you help us figure out what day we're on today? Hooray! There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <sighs> Saturday. Did you just hear Day's dinosaur roar? He just did it. What day was it on? This one? Yay! On Friday. That's the day we're on today. We're on Friday. Let's take a look at that up on our calendar. Here's all of our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And here's Friday. Hey, last week when we had Friday, that was when we had Groundhog Day. Remember that? That was last Friday. Now we're right here. This is today. Today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Let's find out what number we're on today. Where's our friend Counting Cow? Can you help me call Counting Cow? On the count of three, call Moo and Counting Cow will come. Ready? One, two, three. Moo! Thanks for joining us, Counting Cow. It's time for us to find out what number we're on today. And you're the best counter we know. Let's count together with Counting Cow and see what number we're on today. We'll start with number one 
and count until we get to today, and we'll see how many there are. Ready? Count with us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good counting. Today we're on the number nine. Nine. That means today is Friday, February 9th, 2024. Well done. Thanks for helping, Counting Cow. Now we need to put nine pieces of fruit on our tree. Here's that number nine again. We're going to count nine pieces of fruit for our tree. And you can count nine of something where you are. Do you want to pause the video and go get a pile of something? You could get a little pile of Legos. You could grab some socks from your sock drawer. You could get some crayons. Anything you want. Grab a little pile of something. And then while I'm putting the fruit on the tree and I'm counting, you take one of your pieces and you count along with me. And stop when we get to nine. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stop right there. You have nine. And I have nine. Nine pieces of fruit on my tree. Let's take a look at our 10 frame. Instead of fruit, let's pretend that this is, hmm, what do you like? Something that you like to eat. Hmm, do you like M&Ms? <laughs> let's pretend that these are M&Ms and you have one M&M. But Mother Goose comes and I give you four more M&Ms. So we need to try and figure out how many M&Ms do you have now? You started with one M&M, and then I gave you four more. Yay for you. That's how many you've got, but what's the number? Let's take a look at that math problem. You had one M&M plus four more that I gave you. We need to know how many does that equal. Let's count them and find out. One two, three, four, five. Now you have five M&Ms. One plus four more equals five. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now it's time for the letter of the day with me. Today's letter of the day is M. This is the letter M, big M, little m, and they both make the same sound like this. Mmm. Can you do that? Mmm. It's kind of the sound you make when you think something tastes delicious. Mmm, mmm, good. That's the sound that M makes. Mmm, mmm. And we're going to learn all about the letter M today. Let's take a look at some things that begin with that Mmm, mmm sound. We have, what's that? Mmm, mmm mouse, that's right. Can you find the letter M in this word? Where do you see it? Go ahead and touch it. That's right. Mouse begins with M. Mouse. And what is this a picture of? It's the moon. Can you find? the letter M on that word? Touch it with your finger. Yeah, mm, mm, moon begins with M. What else begins with the letter M? Hmm, do you have any ideas? I'm thinking of someone I know that wears a hat, a blue scarf, glasses, and blue eyeshadow. What's oh, my name? Mm -mm, Mother Goose. My name begins with M. Hooray! What else can you find that begins with the letter M? 
you're going to go on a letter M scavenger hunt. Not yet, but when I say go, you're going to stand up and you're going to run, run, run as fast as you can and search all over until you find something that begins with this sound. Mm, mm. Maybe you have a little toy mouse. Mm, mm, mouse. You could bring that back. Maybe you have something with the moon on it. Maybe even a storybook with a picture of a moon. You might have that. Maybe you have a mm, mm, marker. Do you have any markers that you color with? Marker begins with M. What about a monkey? Monkey begins with M. You might have a stuffed monkey or a picture of a monkey or a little toy monkey like this one. What else can you think of that starts with the letter M? Do you have an idea of something you can go find? All right, stand up and get yourself ready. You're going to run all over and you're going to search until you find something that starts with that mmm, mmm sound. And then bring it back and show me what you found. Ready, set, go! Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can do it. I know you can. Look up high. Look down low. Look everywhere you go. And then when you find something that begins and then when you find something that begins with the letter M, come back and show me what you found. Maybe you found a marker. Maybe you found a mouse. Oh, look. Maybe you found a motorcycle. Do you have a little toy motorcycle? Lots and lots of things begin with the letter M. Let me see what you found. What a great job! You're really good at these treasure hunts for our letters of the day. Well done! Well, I have something else that begins with the letter M, and it's moose. Moose begins with the letter M. We're going to read a fun story called Moose Tracks because moose begins with the letter M. There are moose tracks on my back porch. I'm not sure how they got there. One thing I'm fairly certain of, last night those tracks were not there. There is bear hair on my lawn chair, but a bear came by to eat. When we barbecued our supper, he shed hair there on his seat. Bear hair, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my kitchen, and I'm itching to know why. Some friends dropped over yesterday, but not one moose stopped by. There are nutshells on the counter, but a chipmunk left them there. He was making nut fudge sundaes for the two of us to share. Nutshells, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks on the den floor. How they got there, I can't say. Last night, there were no moose tracks, and they're everywhere today. There are feathers on my carpet, but my best pal is a goose. We were playing hokey pokey, and her feathers fluttered loose. Feathers, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks in my bathroom. It's an all-out mystery. If I only knew who left them, he could mop them up for me. There are mouse prints in my bathtub, but my maid, she's a mouse. 
and she's always leaving wee prints when she tidies up my house. Mouse prints, I remember, but who left all these mouse tracks? Look, that page has a mm -mm mouse and mm -mm moose tracks. There are moose tracks in my bedroom. They are splattered all around. Noisy moose feet should have clattered, but I never heard a sound. There are wood chips in my guest bed, but a beaver spent the night. He got hungry and the bed post looked so good he took a bite. Wood chips, I remember, but who left all these moose tracks? There are moose tracks on my back porch, in my kitchen and my den. In my bathroom and my bedroom, moose tracks everywhere I've been. Who on earth left all these moose tracks? I'm quite sure I'll never guess. Why, look at me. I am a moose and I don't make a mess. Who do you think left all those moose prints everywhere? Do you think it was our friend the moose? Hmm, I think you're right. Mm -mm, monkey begins with our letter of the day. M. Mm -mm, monkey begins with M. And these five monkeys like to jump on the bed. If you know this silly rhyme, go ahead and say it along with me. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and she bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So Mama got all those monkeys bandaged all up, put them in the tub and got them cleaned up and then sent them to bed with no more jumping on the bed. Night, night, monkeys. No more jumping on the bed. Mm, mm, mouse begins with the letter M. We're going to sing our alphabet song and your job is to try and pay attention, sing along and look for mm, mm, mouse. When you see that we've reached mm, mm, mouse, yell stop and try and catch me before I turn it to the next card. Let's go. I know you can do it. A, A, Apple, B, 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 C, C, Cat, D, D, Dog, E, E, Elephant, F, F, Fish, and G, G, Guitar, H, H, Heart, I, I, Igloo, J, J, Jelly Beans, K, K, Kite, O, O, Lion, M, M, Ma, 
What? What's that you said? Did you say stop? You caught me. Mmm, mmm, mouse. There's our letter of the day. Great job. Mmm, mmm, nest. Ah, ah, octopus. P, p, penguin. Qu, qu, queen. R, rabbit. S, s, socks. T, t, turtle and a umbrella. V, v, violin. W, w, watermelon. X, x, x-ray. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, and z, z, zebra, and now we're done. Our shape of the day is a square. Take a look at this square. Can you count how many sides does the square have? One, two, three, four. And all the sides are the same size. Look at all of these squares I found. We're going to turn over some puzzle pieces and you have to help tell me whether it's a square or not a square. If I turn one over and it's a square, say square. You can look at these pictures to help you. If I turn one over and it's not a square, say not a square. Are you ready? Thumbs up if you are. All right, let's grab one. Is that one a square? Does it have four sides that are the same? Do you see it on our square board? There it is. It's a gift box and it's a square. Four sides that are all the same size. Let's get another one. What about this one? Is that a square or not a square? Not a square, you're right. None of these look like this one. And it doesn't have any sides. That's a circle. Let's try another one. What about this one? It's a stamp. Does this one have four sides? Go ahead and count them. Do you see this one on our square board? Me too. This stamp is a square. Great job. Let's pick another one. What about this window? Is this window a square? How many sides does it have? That's right. And do you see the window on our square board? There it is right at the top. That window is square. Maybe you have some square windows in your house. Take a look. Let's take another one. Is this shape a square? It does have some sides. Are there four sides? No, there's a lot more than four sides here. What shape is this one? That's right, it's a star and it's not on our square board. How about the cracker? Is the cracker in the shape of a square? Do you see it on our square board? Point to it. That's where it goes. Cracker, this cracker is a square. Let's try another one. Here's a game board. Is this game board a square shape? One, two, three, four. It has four sides. They look like they're the same size. Do you see the game board on our square board? Go ahead and touch it with your finger. That's right. That game board's a square. Let's try another one. Mmm, yummy watermelon slice. Is this watermelon slice a square? Count the sides. One, two, three. How many sides does it have? Three. Three sides, not four sides. Do you see a watermelon slice on our square board? Nope. Watermelon slice is a triangle, not a square. We have one left. What is it? It's a puzzle. You're right. 
Is this puzzle a square shape? Count the sides. Are they all the same size? Do you see it on our square board? Then it's a square. Great job. Look around the room that you're in and see if you can find any squares. See how many squares you can find. Maybe you can count nine squares. Remember, nine is our number of the day. Maybe you can look around your house and count nine square windows when we're all done saying goodbye. It's time to say goodbye now, goodbye now, goodbye now. It's time to say goodbye now to Mother Goose. We had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. Yes, we had a great time. We hope that you did too.